Welcome to our review of the King Size Majestic Wolf Puzzle from Unidragon, who we have to thank for sending us a review copy of this puzzle. So this wooden puzzle comes from Unidragon, the same company that created Quezzle, Amazing Cappadocia, that we reviewed last episode. The specific puzzle our family built was the King Size or Hard Difficulty Level, which has 310 pieces and an MSRP of $99.95 US. This puzzle, and others like it from Unidragon, are available in four different sizes, with King being the third step. We'll talk more about that in a moment. Now, one thing to note in regards to that price, Unidragon often has sales. Like, honestly, I'm very close saying they always have at least some kind of sale going on. For example, right now, at the time of this recording, you can get 30% off this specific puzzle, and even more off for the smaller sizes. Plus, if you use our exclusive code BELLHOP, one word, you get another 10% off. As well, their animal collection, from which this puzzle comes, has about 20 different animals to choose from in the various sizes and difficulties. So the Majestic Wolf puzzle features an abstract wolf head with obvious native inspirations. Very colorful, bright, and interesting just to look at. One of the things that makes this puzzle interesting, though, and more difficult than most puzzles, is that it doesn't feature a frame. So you can't go hunting for edges to start this puzzle off. Another cool aspect of this puzzle is the fact it contains a number of thematically shaped pieces, including various wolves, the animals they hunt, as well as other surprises, which I'll leave you to find on your own. Well, for a look at how this puzzle is packaged and some of the pieces, including some of the uniquely shaped ones, be sure to check out our unboxing video on YouTube. Now, the king size version of this puzzle, which is the one we have, is 310 pieces. Other sizes include simple at 99 pieces, medium at 185, and royal at 700. Now, in addition to the piece count increasing, the physical size of the puzzle also grows at each size. The smallest starts at 6 by 7 by 9.5 inches, going up to 16 by 0.5 by 22.5. Now, the piece quality is fantastic, with everything fitting together perfectly. The artwork is nice and bright, and we didn't notice any scratching or damage on any of the pieces. And normally, the next thing we would do is talk about how to play whatever game we are talking about. But we can't do that here. Unlike Quezzle, there is no game element to this Unidragon puzzle. You just build it, and you're done. Now, that said, I do want to make sure people do realize there's more to this than your average puzzle, which comes in the form of the uniquely shaped pieces this puzzle is made of. In addition to some really unique shaped pieces, quite different from most mass market puzzles, you can also find wolves, a moose, squirrels, birds, and even a hunting lodge with the trees surrounding it. We talked about this in our previous review for Quezzle, but similarly, this puzzle is not your standard fare when it comes to shapes, even beyond the few special thematic shapes. Right. Now, no game here, but was it fun? So first off, I have to point out, I personally didn't build this puzzle. It was Deanna who actually requested we review this one after having such a good time building Quezzle with Gwen. It was the two of them that built the Majestic Wolf together. I just watched for a bit, asked them what they thought, and took some pictures. Now, puzzles are definitely a taste that not all people share, really a hobby unto themselves. So as for our thoughts on this particular puzzle, let's start with the component quality. Everything about the puzzle was excellent. Nice, thick wooden pieces, bright artwork, everything fit together well, some added etching on the back of the tiles to see what the special ones look for. Our only complaint here is the same one I have with Quezzle, and that's the fact the box doesn't seal shut in any way. And really, I do think this is a difference between gamers and puzzlers. I'm willing to bet if you ask them, they'd be confused <laughs> why you wanted to stand it up. I know most board gamers throw them out, but like this is like a high quality wooden box with art on it. It seems like it's its own collector piece that you'd want to display, especially showing off that front art, which you can actually see over my shoulder there. As for building the puzzle, it was fun. My family really enjoyed the difficulty of not being able to start with an edge or a corner. Uh, they ended up basically starting at the middle of the puzzle and working out with the eyes and the nose being built first. I remember at one point my daughter was pointing out and, and somewhat complaining, there are so many curves. Now this puzzle took them a couple days to finish with the whole thing taking over two hours. Now at the end, Deanna noted she wished she had taken more time with it. 
he felt they kind of rushed it in order to get our game table back for game night. And I think everyone would have enjoyed it more if you just left the puzzle set up and worked on it for a bit of time each day until done, instead of kind of rushing to get it done. So heads up for anyone who does consider picking up this puzzle or anything else from Unity Dragon, take your time and enjoy it. Find a spot where you can leave it set up and play with it over multiple days. And that's often the case with puzzles. Much like with coloring books, it's not the end, it's the process that is the real reward. I totally agree. Now, Dee and Gwen both thought the real highlight of this Majestic Wolf puzzle were the hidden pieces. What really stood out, especially when compared to Quezzle, is that these unique pieces were actually themed to go along with the puzzle itself. While building the puzzle, you're going to discover an entire wolf pack and the animals they hunt, as well as a hunting lodge and the woods around it. To me, this is the big thing that sets these Unidragon parts puzzles apart and above most other Jigsaw puzzles. So indeed, especially at this price point, it's really something I would expect to be more high-end and cut designer puzzles. But while upper end, Unidragon is still pretty mass market. Now, one thing I was thinking about with these hidden pieces that to me is a big missed opportunity, and I'm probably only thinking this is because we played Quezzle first, is I don't see why they don't include Quezzle-like quests in these puzzles, in all their puzzles. They just give me a sheet of paper that has me trying to find those hidden pieces. Like, find the hunting lodge. How Find the trees. Can you find all eight of the wolves or whatever? I'm making up numbers here. I don't know how many, I don't remember how many wolves are actually. As it is, there isn't even a list to check off to make sure you spotted them all. And because of the fact the shapes are blended in with the colors, like the squirrel doesn't look like a squirrel on the colored side, it's really easy to miss one of them unless you happen to see it on the back or it really sticks out as a distinctive piece. And like, honestly, like just throw a checklist in. Even having a checklist would be a cool addition. Did you find all the things? I think, honestly, Unidragon, if you're listening, this is something that will improve all of your puzzles. Though I think the completionist aspect of puzzles is really finishing it. The cool yeah. pieces are just a bonus along the way, I'd guess. Uh, oh, yeah. especially, since, especially since if you wanted to fix it for mounting, you couldn't exactly have the special pieces left out or anything. You just would have seen them along the way. Uh, fair enough, though I still think you could probably mount it with how tight the wood is. I think you could probably mount it and still make those specific pieces able to pull out and pull not. They're, they're spread out enough that you're not like removing a, a main structure of the puzzle by pulling them out. I don't know, just maybe it's because I'm more of a gamer than I am a, a, a puzzle builder myself. So maybe that's why I want the game aspect. And to me, it's just like throw it in there in case anyone wants it. Overall, though, my family really enjoyed building the molestic, majestic wolf puzzle from Unidragon. It was challenging enough to keep them interested, features fantastic artwork, well-cut pieces, and has the added bonus of being frameless and having lots of cool, unique shapes to discover while building the puzzle. The edge thing is a big deal, but also notable is that this puzzle is very mandala-like in its coloring, so mm -hmm. you don't even get big patches of color to reference or uh, as, as well as not having those edges and, and shapes. No, nope, I agree. If you're a puzzle fan, you really should take the time to check out Unidragon and their puzzles. While there, be sure to use code BELLHOP, all one word, to save you an additional 10% off. If you aren't a puzzle fan, you probably aren't listening to this review at this point, but if you're still here, there really isn't anything here that improves the basic puzzle formula enough that I think it'll be of interest. Now, if you are puzzle curious, a Unidragon puzzle may be a cool place to start. These wooden puzzles are definitely a big step above the cardboard mass market puzzles I grew up on and have totally won me and my family over with their quality and cleverness. Well, that's it for our review of a king-sized version of the Majestic Wolf Puzzle from Unidragon. If we've tempted you at all with this review, remember to use the code BELLHOP all one word, over at unidragon.com to get 10% off your order. I also invite you to check out the written review over at tabletopbellhop.com.